Hello everyone, here is yet another useful tutorial where we create a multi-level drop-down menu optimized for mobile. A week ago, I made a video on a multi-level drop-down menu for desktop where nested menus appear on hover. Today we'll adapt the same logic for smaller screens as requested by a friend. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I highly recommend it as I explained the logic in detail there and also explained several ways to achieve the same thing. Consider this as an extension of the tutorial and I'll aim to explain things crisply here. Assuming you have seen the previous video, let's get started. The main difference from the previous tutorial is that here we use click events instead of hover to show and hide menus. So here is the UI. I have added a burger icon to reveal the menu. When you tap on it, you will see the menu with the main categories. Tapping on a subcategory will reveal its subcategories and so on. And when you click on the back on the top, it just goes to the previous menu. Same way for kids, you can click boys, then again subcategory and these are the final items. And when you click on something, you see there is a background. So that will appear when you tap on the mobile. Now let's discuss the code. I'll explain the logic first, then show you how it's used in the UI. I'm using Vue.js 3 for this. You can use any other framework that you would like. Just understand the logic and implement it. But in this channel, I try to keep it exclusive to Tailwind CSS and Vue.js. So let me explain this in Vue.js. Starting with the variables, we have several reactive variables. So the menu open determines whether the sidebar is open or not. This one. Then the current menu tracks the menu that we are on. Means if we are on this main categories or if we are in the women's category or in the bottom where like that so it tracks that and menu history is used to store those previous menus we have been through like now we were in women bottom wear so now this women and bottom wear these category names are stored in this menu history then current category current subcategory and current final category these track the main category, subcategory and final items respectively. This is the main category, then subcategory and then another category and then the final items. Next in this data, we have the categories and subcategories stored in an array of objects. Simply replace this with your own categories to customize. This is the same data that we used in the previous tutorial as well. It's just bunch of objects in an array which has the categories, subcategories and the items in it. Coming to the functions, the open menu opens the sidebar and the close menu closes the sidebar. And then this function opens submenu. The purpose of this function is to display the subcategories for the selected main category. This function is triggered when the user clicks on a category item in the main menu. If we, these are the main categories and when we click on any of these categories, the open submenu will be triggered. I'll show again in the UI implementation. Additionally, it also saves the current state of the menu into the menu history array. So here it is saving the current state to the menu history. This will be useful later on when we go back to the previous menu, we have a track on which menu we were on. To go back to the right category, this also updates the current category variable with the selected category. Open item menu similar to open sub menu, but for subcategories, it updates the view to show items under the selected subcategory and saves the current menu item. It's the same logic again for the open final menu. It's the same logic again, but for the final items. And go back. This is a function that triggers that is triggered when we click on this arrow icon. This function handles the navigation of going back to the previous menu state. In the above functions, we stored the state of the previous menus. This function, this go back function, retrieves the last saved menu state from the menu history. And if there is a previous state, it restores the menu to that state. 
means if there is a previous state then it goes back to that state if there is no previous state then it defaults to this main menu now let's see the ui implementation as i said in the beginning we used a new burger icon to show and hide the menus so we are using this menu open and close menu to manage the visibility of this sidebar so this is the part where we are showing the icon and on clicking we use the open menu to show the sidebar and here we are rendering fictional brand name and also this close icon on which when we click on it will close the menu and this part is the background that you are seeing here the black background it's just a preference you can just remove it and give a full width to this if you want to see a full screen menu then what we are doing is let me collapse these sections So we are using VIF directive from Vue.js to conditionally render the menus. So we are rendering the menu here if the current menu is main and if it is not main and if it is sub then we are rendering the subcategories and then we are rendering the item categories. In kits we have two other levels so boys this is the subcategory then these are the item categories and then these are the items so that's why we have this and inside each wave element we are using v4 to loop through the items based on the current menu state means this is the list this is the wave element in this we have this list where we are rendering the category dot labels this is the main menu for example so for every item in data we are rendering the category dot label means item is category here this name is your choice it can be category item anything so for every item in the data we are rendering its label let's see in the data here so this array has several objects three in this case so for every item if there is a label we are rendering this label that is the men then women and kids that's what we are rendering in the first element same way for the subcategories here is the code so it is checking for every subcategory in the current category dot drop down here the current category drop dot drop down is this so this is the current category and this is the drop down so if men dot drop down if this has elements then we are rendering the labels of this particular drop down so under men we have top wear bottom wear accessories and shoes so that's what is being rendered when we click on men that's what that is doing coming to the third element it's the same but we are just checking one extra thing here if you see in the data or it's better to see in the ui in the main menu for men we have these subcategories and if you click there are the items just one level in the middle but for kids you have the subcategories and when you click on boys you have another set of categories and when you click then the items so here we have one extra level of menu for that we are checking if the item has dropped down means we are in this category now and if this top pair has a drop down again then we will render the item dot label and this open final menu will be clickable means this act this function will be triggered on clicking this item dot label which is happening in this case for kids i'm clicking top wear and it goes further but for men we have just one level which is the subcategory already and when you click this 
you don't have further labels for the categories it's just the items directly so there is no item dot drop down it will not trigger anything when we click on it it's just the last item so that's what this is doing and the last element is for the last section of every menu until the last item comes this is the final item here we don't have any clickable actions for anything because there are no further subcategories to this I let it be for kit section or men or women the last set of items is the final item here you can add click functionality to these items for example to redirect to a page displaying the clicked items categories so i haven't given any click functionality here you can add a click functionality and redirect it to the page based on whatever the user clicks so that's how you create a multi-level drop down menu for a mobile or a tablet i hope this video was useful the code will be soon available on my website citrusui.in along with several other Tailwind CSS and Vue.js components that already exist. Check my website regularly to get the code for your favorite components for free. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Tailwind CSS and Vue.js content. Thank you for watching and happy coding.